Welcome, everyone, to Cat Plays the Binding of Isaac Repentance, episode 14. Uh, I just finished recording episode 13, which I had a ton of fun with, even though I lost tragically. Um, this might be another super short run. The Halo, all stats up. All right. Uh, this might be another short run, because I'm playing as Eve. Uh, my Eve runs, I like to go real high risk. So, uh, cause you get rewarded for going real high risk, cause you get Horror of Babylon, so. Uh, yeah, that's kind of just where we're at with it. Oh, shit. Shit! Yeah, fuck. What a horrible night to have a curse. If I take ceremonial robes, will it kill me? <laughs> I think the answer is yes, because there's HP debt, but also, is it wrong that I kind of want to try the shortest run of all time? I don't think there is... I don't think there's HP debt in Repentance, is there? I think it will just give me... And Ceremonial Robes does give Black Hearts, I'm pretty sure. So... Is it wrong that I want to do it? We're gonna try. Uh, <laughs> might be the shortest run of all time. Let's try. Alright. Uh, and now Curse uh, Horror of Babylon should be active. So, should be a damage upgrade. Um, I've got Flight. Uh... I've got stronger tiers. I've actually, this is an HP up, well, I guess it's not technically an HP upgrade, uh, cause we did already have that one. But I mean, we're, let me, let me put it this way. We're stronger on HP even now taking two deals with the devil than we were when we started the run because of Eve's low HP. So I really, I don't hate what's going on here. Um, and this is the kind of shit I was talking about when I said I like to play real high risk with Eve. Uh, she's a character, when you start with Horror of Babylon, you're just kind of rewarded for taking risks. Um, can I shoot through rocks as Lord of the Pit? I cannot, because it's not um, the scary night but I, I don't even really care that much I'm just I'm so pleased with myself right now that it doesn't matter <laughs> permanent core of Babylon I like it all right little bit of health right there uh, of course now we have no heart containers which can be a bit of a pain but that's okay I I'm very used to playing uh, with nothing but temp HP. I don't hate doing it. Uh, all in all, I, I think I think this was a pretty okay trade that we made. And let's go do the boss fight. And I really do. I already feel so much stronger than I did at the start of the run. So uh, it's pretty exciting. Um. I already don't remember what was in the shop. Was there something in the shop that I wanted? I need to not... Every time I go through that room, I'm just daring it <laughs> to, uh, to deal damage to me. I'm, I'm pushing my luck going through so many times. Uh, but Lord of the Pit makes it easier. And you know what? I'm having a grand old time. So... That was, uh, that was floor one. This is why I like playing as Eve. Oh, Curse of the Unknown is nasty right here. Uh. I'm gonna think about that curse room. I know I'm gonna go in already. Pretty fly. Oh, shit. Oh, speed up, look down. Okay, for a second, experimental pill scared the shit out of me, because it's like, now I literally don't even know what my stats are. I've got to go into the curse room. The left hand! Oh, yeah. Fun trinket. I love it. I'm gonna hide in the corner. Alright. What is this? Milk. Don't cry over it. Okay, I will not cry over it. Uh, that being said, not so thrilled to see it. Can't use that. 
Uh, I really- I- I just want to go into the curse room. I want to become Guppy. I want everything this round. <laughs> I'm just- I'm so excited. Um... That, I feel like that was just a huge risk that I took. Oh, shit. Krampus. Uh, I don't love fighting Krampus with Curse of the Unknown. I'm scared. <laughs> shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, I'm to my black hearts. But I got head of Krampus. So... Oh, boy. Uh... Now I'm not feeling confident about the curse room anymore. Oh, shit, I didn't even... F I'm mad. I'm a little bit mad. A little bit salty. <laughs> um... There's a pill. I could take a pill. Um, I could grab this card. I, I, I don't quite know what I want to do. <laughs> the lovers. Ah, oh, not the card that I would have chosen for myself. But, I am excited to have Krampus' head. I think it's going to help uh, with some of the damage that I may have done. The sun card, huh? Balls of steel. If one of these was balls of steel, range up, tears down. Balls of steel, damn it. Okay, we're gonna take the sun card because it's more versatile and also because I don't have red hearts. I really wish I knew where my HP was at. Tears up. Any chance? Any chance at all? Whew. I really... I, I want to go into the curse room so bad. It's not even funny. I'm not going to. Just because I don't know where my health is at. I took a lot of damage in that Krampus fight. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I was afraid of there. Um, I'm going to wait until I have a charge on uh, Krampus's head. And then I will come back um, for the mob trap room. I think that is correct. Wheel of Fortune, huh? So I could have done it for only only one black heart. I could have done it. We could have made it work. I might be guppy right now, but I just I think it's understandable why I didn't take that risk. Oh my god, I missed. I missed all the big guys with my Krampus' head charge. Oh my god, I feel so dumb about that, but... But it's okay. Um, that big room, I'm not in love with the idea of, uh, of that. Right now. <laughs> This is the danger of uh, playing high-risk games sometimes. But you know what? Okay. I missed the one curse room, and that hurts. But, that being said... I mean, it could it could just be a lot worse. We're, we're in a good position. Um, and with the left hand, I'm going to have plenty of opportunities to pick up more guppy items. Uh, the, the main thing isn't even guppy items at this point. It's just, like, it, there could have been something cool in there, like the mark or the, the pact, uh, you know? There just there could have been something that I wanted that I didn't get. But if all that was in there, statistically, was red chests, and sometimes I don't even get that lucky. If all that was in there was... Lock up shot speed down. These are... These experimental pills are killing me. Um, but... You know, on average, if there were just red chests in there, I'm I'm gonna be okay having missed them. Like I'll have the opportunity for so many more red chests. I think it's gonna be okay. That being said, my stats are getting progressively worse because I keep taking experimental pills, which I need to stop doing. Um, that's just I I just need to stop doing that. Pretty fly. I will take that. However, new orbital. Rosary, cheers plus faith up. I like it. Uh, donation machine. Perfect. You know what? Let's go ahead and give it a cent. Oh, I should also go fight in that big room while I have a Krampus' head charge. 
Oh, except for... I, well, if I fight in the big room, I should have plenty enough time still to build a charge back up. Five poison bombs? Absolutely. Yes, please. Uh, before the boss. So we're going to go do that. All right. I uh, didn't get everything, but that did make the room way easier than it might have been. And I'm not, I'm not mad. All right. Halfway to the HP cap. More options is great. Uh, unfortunately, I can't take it. I could blow up the donation machine, but I've been working hard trying to- Shit. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Walked right into that. Um, I've been working so hard uh, trying to get money into the donation machine that I'm not gonna... Uh, doesn't seem worth blowing it up for, uh, for more options. Even though it's tempting. Come on. There we go. I wish I had not been standing that close to it when it blew up, just because that was nerve-wracking. But it was fine. I was fine. It's all fine. Uh, Dark Bum would help the- what- what run is Dark Bum gonna hurt, you know? But, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing Dark Bum. Just- just throwing it out there, into the- into the universe. I'm actually, like, even though my stats are not great, I'm still pretty happy with this run, all things considered. I'd, I'd have to be kind of insane not to be, I think. Oh, shoot. Milk should have been... I, I wish I could have blown that up a little bit closer to him. Or it would have dealt some damage. Okay! Uh, the Bible is an interesting pickup for us. Um... Oh, I got a Seraphim transformation, it seems like. Uh, yeah, we're gonna pick up this one heart container, because honestly, why not? Uh, and then we're going to go... Oh, first of all, we're gonna trade that health away, I think. Uh, because we have a bunch of health laying around, and this seems like a pretty, pretty good way to, to handle it. I could get more options, potentially, if I'm diligent. Uh... But importantly, we're gonna go to the curse room. Um, I'm gonna try not to miss any more curse rooms, because that broke my heart. I could use the sun card here as well, just to like really get as much use out of this as possible, but it seems a little bit silly. Um, And Horror of Babylon, because I'm Eve, I'm pretty sure it's active at one one heart or higher, so I don't need to be super cautious about picking up, um, you know, red hearts, as long as I only have the one heart container, I think it's gonna be fine for me. I'm one cent away from having more options. Darn. Well, I... I could go back and forth, I guess. Should I do it? I'm going to. I'm sorry for all the running around, but I just, you know, we're trying to unlock, uh, we're trying to get more items into the pool. More options is good because we haven't had it yet, so it's a new item for the pool, and also it statistically, it, it because it gives us more options, um, there will be more stuff to pick up. I do kind of want to take the Bible because I think it would be fun, but this is also my first time having Krampus's head on the save file, and I think it's going well. Plus, with my uh, tears being as slow as they are, you know. Soul converter. You know how much I love Soul Converter, and <laughs> we had that other run where I had Soul Converter and Guppy's Paw, and it was just absurd. Um, for right now, I am going to stick with Krampus's head, but I- Is it wrong that I kind of want to take Soul Converter with me? It's a really interesting healing dynamic, and it's so- it's so good with Horror of Babylon.
But is it as good as Krampus's head? Krampus's head as an offense item is pretty much it's about as good as it gets, honestly, in in repentance, I think. Use it every three floors, just deal a fuck ton of damage to everything. Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna pick this up. Horror Babylon will still be active. There's no reason not to pick it up. Okay. I'm gonna have to go fight in it. Oh my god, those pins keep just like fucking me up. Ah! <sighs> Alright. But anyway, what I was saying is, um, that we're gonna go have to fight in another one of these to pick up, uh,. Pick up a charge for Krampus's head so we have it for the boss. Balls of steel, I like it. I like that a little bit less. I kind of so we're gonna go do the boss fight while I have a Krampus's head charge. I'm still thinking really hard about taking Guppy's paw with me. It's it's so good with Horror of Babylon. <laughs> it's so good as Eve. It would be really good right here, for instance. Um. I have the occult. Controlled tears. Uh, I don't. I, full disclosure, I don't love I have the occult on its own. Uh, I really like it with Brimstone, though. It, it does take a little bit of getting used to. It's so good with Brimstone, though. Uh, this is... Ev yeah, if I could make one more deal with the devil, I would want to take Brimstone. Uh, and honestly, I would want that more than I would want a guppy item at this point. So I'm gonna try really, really hard to get a deal with the devil on the next floor, if I can. I, I know, again, I don't really get to control when I have deals with the devil or not. Um, and, okay, so here's the thing, is that, like, even if you don't have brimstone, controlled tears is a really good item, but it's hard to use, and I don't really have it often enough that I'm in the habit of using it correctly it's and it's it's kind of like ludovico technique in that it just takes a lot of extra uh, mental inner energy to kind of like navigate these tiers where you need them to go of course we're gonna come in here of course We actually healed up in here a little bit. Uh, Krampus's head is oh, still a thing. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. So yeah, uh, I don't hate how this run is up. Uh, Guppy's tail. Oh, I'm still one Guppy item short, huh? Um. So <laughs> I don't know how either one of these is gonna work with controlled tears. Uh, but obviously, I I think I, you know which one I'm gonna pick. Uh, cause telepathy for dummies is it would take up my um my Krampus's head slash Guppy's paw slot. Speaking of which, um, I think my decision has been made. I like Guppy's paw and Horror of Babylon synergy so fucking much, but I just recently had a run like that, even though it wasn't as Eve, and, uh, 
yeah, we're gonna try something different just to just to spice it up a little bit. So I'm gonna stick with Krampus's head. Um, I can't believe there there are so many times where Krampus's head is just like the OP item to have. Should I take Brother Bobby just because I'm doing good on health? Probably not. There are so many times where <laughs> Krampus's head is just like the obvious choice, and I actually do think it's a little bit less powerful. Uh, but you do see a lot of runs where people just, like, they get Krampus's head and then they just are done. Because, you know, like, what what do you do from there, right? Like, it's- there's so much power in the run already. Oh, shit. Didn't even see him coming. Oh, no. Yeah, this is- See, and, like, this is a run where you have to dodge, uh, where it's hard to- to navigate. <laughs> I have the occult. But we made it through. Um, can't complain about it too much because I'm still here. Doing fine. Uh, I've got 15 bombs, so I might actually spend a little bit of time at the bottom. At the at the bottom? At the end of this floor. Uh, going around and, and looking for some more temp HP. Um, and again, if I could get brimstone. I Man, I don't think I've ever wanted brimstone quite this bad. Balls of Steel is a really good one to have. Um, the Sun card is tripping me up, because usually it's just so good, but it's not going to heal us. Like... Copy items in there, huh? <laughs> Nine lives on this run. It'd be a little silly. Are you a Fucking wizard? are you a wizard? Um balls of steel. I can take another are you a wizard. Range up. No thank you. Balls of steel. I will, however, take. We're gonna fly over here. Where oh oh I still don't have the Fucking okay. <laughs> I keep thinking I have the like Ouija board effect on my tears, and I just don't. Uh, on the on the wish list of items, uh, like right after Brimstone. Uh, if if I don't get Brimstone, I think Ouija board might actually be a pretty acceptable pickup for me right now, since I didn't get it with Lord of the Pit. <laughs> But again, it feels a little bit silly making a wish list on a run like this, but because I'm doing so much better than I often am. <laughs> but we are kind of having a it's a good run for like really stupid synergies, I think. Um, if we could get some. If we could get some items to synergize with. Uh, Loki's horns is also, it's kind of fun with controlled tiers because it does occasionally just have like this extra bunch of, there we go. I knew eventually we'd find that last thing without having to take a bunch of damage from the turrets. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is, I mean, we're having kind of a fun time, I think, on the run. Um, even though there's not a ton to say about it. So, normally I'd go with attack fly, but what did I just say about dumb synergies, right? Like, let's, let's see how tech X works with, uh, oh, badly. I think I might have just ruined the run. <laughs> Fuck. So I can no longer control the tiers, uh, first and foremost. That's the first thing you need to understand, is that I no longer have any control over the tiers. Uh, the second thing that you need to understand is that I do still have to uh, charge them for whatever <laughs> dumb reason. Fuck, I fucked up. Um, but this is, this is how we learn. 
<laughs> so stupid. All right. Um. No, it's it's okay. It's gonna be. I could still get brimstone. We could still save this. <laughs> uh, it's not. It's not inherently a lost run. So Tech X, I usually don't pick it up because it has ruined some really good synergies that I've had before. Uh, so you might be asking, why pick it up then? I had this one run. I had an Almond Milk Ipecac run. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I'm underselling it. I'm sorry. I had Rubber Cement Almond Milk Ipecac run. It was the dumbest run I had ever had in my entire life. And I was just so sure I was going to blow myself up doing this kind of nonsense. And, um... Tech X absolutely saved the run. It was like the the unsung hero of the game for me at that time. And I said that I was gonna start giving it a better shot, uh, more opportunities to to not suck. And uh, you know, I don't want to say that it's letting me down exactly, uh, but ha. <laughs> <sighs> This is not, um, let's just say this is not the best use of it. Um, and the thing that really kills me about it, because I think it's such a cool, the, the fact that it's a ring gives it so many cool synergistic, uh, opportunities, but I, I almost completely forgot that I even had Krampus's head because there's just been so much other stuff going on this run. It has so many opportunities to be really just amazing, and unfortunately, it it often, I think, uh, kind of falls short on that. And you have to charge it, which kind of it's a it's a buzz kill. I I know otherwise it would probably be too powerful, but already it has the opportunity to be too powerful anyway, but. I really want to know what Shielded Tears would do for us. Let's find out. That's what we're all about this run, huh? Nothing. I think it does nothing for us. <laughs> um... You know what? Let's find out what the Magician does for us also while we're being silly. Oh my god. So if we could get Spoonbender, like, this would be the fucking time, right? Holy hell, speed up. Mystery pill, shot speed Got down. Speed down. Fuck. Alright, well. Uh, you know what? And we're not, for as much as I'm complaining about the tears not interacting in a way that I had predicted uh, or am super comfortable with, we're not underpowered. Like, again, this is not a lost run by any stretch of the imagination. We- there are plenty of opportunities for us to lose it, yes? But we haven't lost yet, you know? Like, it's just- that's not where we're at. We're doing okay. And I need to- I need to acknowledge that and not sound so downtrodden about picking up Tech X. I still kind of want to pick up Brimstone. I, I think now that, um, like, Eye of the Occult is gone, I don't think it would synergize the same way. But I do kind of want to find out. It is also now one of my goals of this run to make sure you guys see an Eye of the Occult Brimstone run. <laughs> like, properly, because it's just so stupid absurd. Uh, and then if you can get something, like, if you can get Almond Milk in with that, you just have, like, this purple spaghetti noodle of damage that you can control and it's pretty silly uh but i love it it's <laughs> yeah i don't know why i came in here i don't have any money uh should i blow this up and see if i get a key let's do it i did not get a key but i did get a heart and I'm pretty much at the HP cap now. Not not entirely. Um, we're gonna keep the left hand. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, Krampus' head did not do as much damage as I thought it was going to do. Right there. I am taking some really dumb damn. What is happening? getting there, I guess. Um. <laughs> of course. Um, I, we almost have to take it, right? Even if I screwed up by taking Tech X. Like, it's it's worth it just to find out what the fuck it does. Leviathan. What the- <laughs> What the sweet hell is that? Oh my god. Okay, so this is not what I was talking about when I said I have the Occult and Brimstone. Uh, I will- I'm making it my mission with the series to give you Eye of the Occult and Brimstone without Tech X. That being said, I am so fucking excited to see what the hell this does. How often can I shoot these is, is my next question. Guppy's Collar, Eternal Life. Give me those flies. I don't even know if I'm gonna generate flies with how fucked my tears are right now. Oh boy. I do not know what is happening. I've I've lost control of this run. I'm not I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm not afraid to come clean. I don't know what's happening right now. Alright. But we are sure having a time together. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm generating some kind of flies, I guess, because look at, look at all those flies. Ha! Huh. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, I need to not take so much damage. <laughs> I have to, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, as weird as this run is, I do like how silly it's become. Like, it's just- it's silly. I don't know if it's- I- I'm not gonna say it's bad. Uh, I don't know how good it is in the, uh, in the grand scheme of runs that we've had, but it's not- it's not terrible. I don't hate it. And I still have balls of steel, so we're... <laughs> Cuban meat. Oh, I was I was just in there. I was like, ooh, what's in here? We know. We know what's in there. Uh, and it was nothing that I wanted. I found pills. I sure did. If I got, like, chocolate milk right now, would it... First of all, would there be a milk transformation? And second of all, would there be any chance that it would make the rings larger if I charged them for a longer period of time? Like, how big could these uh, protective little tear rings get? Where is that last little- there he is. Oh, shit! I almost ran right into that bomb. Alright. Uh, range up. There are two balls of steel pills, so when I take damage on this floor- oh wait hold on 
when I take damage on this floor. Let's go to the curse room. Let's go to the curse room. Well, I've got this balls of steel, and then we'll go pick up the other one. Balls of steel. <coughs> oh. Sorry. Um, sneezy. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll we pick this one up. We are pretty much at the HP cap. Uh, we've got a little bit of healing capacity. I don't want to talk about that damage I just took there. Uh, the flies are becoming... Not that I'm going to blame the flies. I'm bad at dodging. Uh, I am going to say, though, that the flies are becoming a little bit uh, prohibitive. Just in that... I'm having a tough time seeing when stuff is coming at me. Because there are a lot of flies in the way. Alright. But it's going to be okay. It's gonna be okay. I wish my flies would not have gone so aggressively after that spider. I'm drowsy. Don't want that. Speed up. I will take that. And then uh, pick up balls of steel again. Ooh. Oh my god. That was kind of beautiful. Oh my goodness. There were a bunch of those guys. Where is the boss room? <laughs> I'm I'm ready to do the mom fight. I'm I'm here for it. She doesn't need to hide from me. Actually, maybe she should hide from me. I'm dangerous today. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Weird weird uh fight that we've got going on. Oh, also Krampus's head and then yeah. No, uh, no Satan fight, no cathedral still. I unlocked, what the fuck? I unlocked the blue womb, unlocked crow baby. All in all, pretty productive run. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.